What's up? This is GP75 Motorsports here, and welcome back to another Skyrim video. Um, this is not another Quest for the Crown episode. Um, I do have more Quest for the Crown coming, uh, but for whatever reason, YouTube decided that the MP4 file that I created for it was corrupt, so, um, I have to figure out a way to circumnavigate that. I may have to, uh, I may have to completely, um, create a completely new, uh, um, vi uh, video file in, uh, in, in, <laughs> in, uh, Vegas. There we go. So, um, so what, uh, what we're gonna do today is we are going to just sort of do a mod review. Um, and this is a really awesome mod called Flyable Dragon Races. Uh, the current version on Skyrim Nexus is version 3, uh, Burning Skies, as it's codenamed. Uh, so yeah, what it does, it adds uh, two, dra uh, two uh, spells uh, to you called Become a Dragon, which I have equipped now, and um, Options Menu which is right here. So what you do is you, with SKSE, you have to have SKSE installed for this to work. Uh, what you do is you first select options menu, and then that equips the options menu to your shout slot. So you press your shout button, and there it is. So you can select your dragon's ray, your dragon race, your dragon size. You can look at the controls. Um, uh, you can select your shouts, the camera position, and it gives you a couple of recomm of uh, recommended settings here. Um, so, uh, at the bottom here, you get two cryptic options as well. I'm not entirely sure what they do, uh, but yeah. So let's select our dragon race first. I, I feel like being Parthenax because Parthenax is awesome. And I want to be a clone of Parthenax. Just go with uh, normal size. Um, so, shouts. I think uh, we'll go with f Frost Breath. Yeah. And the camera, we want to be zoomed out so that we can see our entire dragon. And so, yeah. That, so, all these things will be, will be applied to us. So that when we go to become a dragon, um, we'll become the kind of dragon that we want to be. And for whatever reason, the camera just sort of pulls right back in. Oh, okay, there we go. So, yep. Let's become a dragon! And, yeah, we're pretty boss now. Whoo, yeah. So obviously, while well, we're in dragon mode, we've got all the a we've got access to all of the dragon uh, shouts, and uh, we can. There's a way to take off, but I'm not sure how we do that. Um, shouts, dragon fire breath, frost breath. Um, Dragon Rend. Okay, we we don't have a shout for it, so let's consult the control scheme. Uh, going through the options menu again, there is a little bit of. Um, actually, you know what? Uh, we can just uh filter it if I can figure out how to filter. Oh yeah, isn't it? No. Uh, that's not it. I'm using a controller, by the way. <laughs> so, um, options menu, here we go. And just, let's consult the controls. Uh, transformation hotkey is U, take off and land key is E, flying forward is W, flying left is A, flying backward is S, flying right is D, flying slow is left shift. Uh, flying up is space, and flying down is X. Roar is R. Okay. Uh, so... E? 
Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah. This is badass. Woo! Okay, so... You sort of point up to fly up, and you point down to fly down. So, I'll give it this. Not really Ace Combat, but... Or uh, Flight Simulator. It's pretty cool. And so... Let's just honk our horn here. Okay, so that just sort of uh, snapped us to this land. Let us fly. Oh, and yeah, by the way, uh, in case you haven't noticed, if you've got your video settings on like 1P or something, um, it is a little bit slow to update the land. Um, so yeah, you will be flying through distant land mostly with this mod. Um, yeah, once you land, uh, using E, of course, it should change. So yeah, it's a little bit weird at first. Um, just flying through distant land, uh, but I guess you sort of get used to it. Let's try flying somewhere else. This appears to be... Okay, so that's not the distant texture there. What in the world? How strange. So yeah, that is a, that is a drawback to most Dragon Race mods. That you will be flying through distant terrain. It does take quite a while to update. Oh yeah, and uh, by the way, when you transform back to human, make sure you've officially landed first using E. Otherwise, it will crash the game. So that's uh, that kind of sucks. Uh, let's go ahead and equip another shout. Uh, Drinking fire breath. Yeah. <laughs> this mod is never going to get old as long as I can do that. Um, so yeah, the reason that it requires SKSE is because it uses SKSE to determine where your dragon is uh, when you go, when you know, when you're f uh, changing your uh, vertical altitude. So... Um, I have a hunch that if you used, uh, that if you used SK, uh, used just the vanilla game, not SKSE, uh, then you probably would have some difficulty flying. So, it is updating this water here to the non-distant texture, although these trees are obviously distant texture, otherwise they wouldn't be hovering over a lake. So, yeah, I don't know why that is. Uh, the, I guess it's a, a problem with the game not being able to quite determine where you are uh, as a player, which is odd. Okay, so... Hmm. And there's a border here, it appears. Where am I on the map? I hope it doesn't crash the game when I bring up the map. So I'm nowhere near the border. Which is odd. Uh, though there may be a ship that's not showing up there. I wonder what happens in case I fast travel while flying. Actually, that's not a good idea. No, because it would crash the game. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to try to land here if this is... If this land feels like updating anytime soon. Which I don't think it will. Oh, here we go. Here's some non-distant terrain. What? Ah, uh, okay. So, let's just land. Okay, so we're landed now. And let's transform back into a person. Um, you should probably have all these shouts hotkeyed, by the way. 
or at least favorited. So, transform back into human or an Argoni, as the case may be. And, uh, yeah. So, just wait for that effect to stop happening, and there we go. So, I'm going to fast travel now. I'm going to save first. And map. Um, let's go solitude. So, actually, come to think of it, you know what the problem may have been? Was that I was technically in, uh, in a, in a river helm. So, I'm going to, once I get this load, I'm going to fast travel to, uh, to a non-city sort of location. Uh, here should be good. The Apprentice Stone. And I'm going to become an, a dragon again. And that should fix the land generation problem. At least I have a sneaking suspicion it will. Okay, so, uh, here we are. In, uh, non-distant terrain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I've been playing a lot of Grand Theft Auto 4 lately, so I forgot that Sprint is, uh, left bumper on a controller. Okay, so here we go, and this should fix the issue. Dragon Tongue, Dragon Health, Dragon Shield, Dragon Healing, and E. And let us go. Uh, E. E. Uh, here we go. Okay, so let's see if the land generation issue crops up again. Okay, so we're clipping with these trees here, uh, which is... Bothersome and cool at the same time. Come on, let's go. I might have to no clip. <laughs> no, there we go. There we are. Can we go up? Up, 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 up. Are we hitting some sort of height limit or, or is this just uh, the script acting up? I have a sneaking suspicion. It's just... Oh, shit. There's another dragon. Oh, ha! What a chance occurrence. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to god mode myself because I don't know how to turn on uh, dragon health. I don't know. I god mode myself. What was that? Oh. Um, hmm. That's odd. That was about to be a badass friggin' air-to-air -air battle, too, man. Okay, so... I'm having a little bit of an issue loading here. Here we go. What? I'm back in solitude, and there's no... Okay. Uh, that, that was a glitch. I just tried to bring up my map here and it froze momentarily. Uh, so go back to the Apprentice Stone and we should re-encounter the dragon. But Dragon Health. May have to search for that. And on the uh you know, using the sort of <laughs> using the Sky UI search functionality. Okay, so go over here so we don't clip through that brush over here. And are we going to transform? Here we go. Okay. So, magic. Okay, so, uh... Dragon Shield improves the caster's armor rating by 400 points for 360 seconds. Improves the caster's armor rating by 300 points for 360 seconds. 
Resist 50% of magic for 360 seconds. Uh, okay. Dragon Wrath, a 400 point fiery explosion center. Oh, God damn! 400 points! Okay. Dragon Shield. 500 Magicka, though. Okay, so we are officially Dragon Shielded. Yeah. We're looking pretty badass, and we're set for life, and we know it. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so yeah, the game does sort of slow down a little bit. Um, when it's having engine issues, and the script appears to have just crashed for going up. Or, no, it's just sort of flying really low. Come on, can we go up? Up, 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 up. I don't appear to be able to go up. Solitude Sawmill discovered. That might be useful later. Come on. Let's go. Up. Hmm. So, yeah. Uh, this is going to be... Oh, shit. Another dragon. At least I think it's another dragon. So I'm going to godman myself again and see... What is that? Is that... Was that a mud crab? Must have been. At least something else extremely small. So yeah, the game is running a little bit jerkily, but just because of all the thinking that has to do with this mod. Uh, but other than that, it's better than it's better than uh, all the um, dragon race mods I've seen so far. I mean, it's uh, this is this is really really uh, well put together. Uh, so yeah, um, and it would be especially cool. I presume if you had another, like a dragon follower mod, because those are pretty abundant. Um, so yeah, the land generation seems to be just fine when you're, uh, when you uh, are actually outside of a city, or at least, you know, some sort of interior. Um, while in dragon form. Uh, but... There does seem to be a little uh, bit of an issue with the script crashing and then uh, and then restarting. Yeah, uh, can we get clo first person, please? I really want to badass through this entire friggin' wave of enemies here. Um. Yeah, we can't get into first-person mode. Okay, there we go. I think we're in first-person mode, at least. Funny enough, I'm hammering away at the attack button. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. There we go. Yeah, this is this is pretty cool. Being a freaking dragon? Like, are you kidding me? Yeah, I feel pretty. I feel pretty cool. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, but this definitely isn't a very sort of finished feeling mod, by any means. Uh, and you don't appear to be able to attack in first person mode yet, which is a bit of a bother. So uh, for now, I'm just going to uh, transform back into a person. And, uh, and, yeah, you're flying, please land to become a human. There we go, so, oh, come on, I did not, okay, so, yeah, GP75 out to deal with these guys, mono a mono, not mono dragono. <laughs> See you guys later.